hey guys welcome back to another tutorial and today we'll be creating a very simple poster design as always in photoshop uh, so if you guys are new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet then please do subscribe my channel and also if you're looking for this PhD file uh, this will be available in my patreon and my patreon link is in the description list below so with that note let's dive into the video and first thing first let's create an artboard so so for that go to file click on new and I'll just go with 4x5 resolution to 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to 16 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. And right after that let's go over here and add a, a gradient. And for this one let's go for a basic black and white and then let's change it to radial and then let's change the color. to For this one let's go for a little brighter and maybe let's go more towards greenish tint maybe somewhere somewhere over here and for the brighter part let's change it to kind of kind of darker color yep maybe let's go for something like that but we can tweak it anytime later so let's click on ok right after that let's drag and drop this grass png right over here and let's convert it as a smart object and control T let's make it a little bigger and let's keep it maybe somewhere around here and, and then uh, let's go over here and let's drag and drop this uh, player PNG right over here and let's keep it on top maybe for this one i guess these two are too big let's make it a little smaller Control t yep let's keep it like that and let's keep it just like so and let's move it a little up just like that and again i guess like i need to get rid of the his saddle so go over here create a layer max go to brush and let's go for a general a soft brush and and let's erase these parts be some part from here too yep let's keep it like that and let's make a one more copy of this grass layer control j and let's move it on the top let's create a layer max let's fill it with black and with the white color selected let's get uh, some of uh, the grass part back maybe just And let's drag and drop uh, this PNG right over here. And let's keep it under this layer. And Control T. Let's make it a little smaller and let's move it right around here. Just, just like so. And maybe let's keep him, keep it above this layer. And let's make a one more copy of this grass layer control j and let's move it on top let's create a layer max fill it with black and then let's get uh, some of this grass back with white color selected yeah, just just like so and even over here too and maybe right over here too yep just like that and we get some parts right around here all right now let's uh go over here on the main player image select this one go to filter and let's go to camera raw filter and let's do some color adjustment so for that let's increase the saddle just like so and drop down the highlights maybe somewhere around here and maybe it drop down the vibrance to maybe somewhere over here and let's increase the clarity and increase the texture and maybe dehaze a little more and let's drop down uh, the exposure to maybe key. let's keep it like that and let's click on okay 
and let's do the same thing for this grass part so let's go on very bottom one let's go to filter let's go to the camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting and from here uh, maybe let's drop the, the clarity some more and then maybe for the exposure let's keep it as zero and let's apply the same setting for the rest and even for this grass let's apply the same setting and for this one let's apply the same setting just like so and let's go on this one and let's try to apply the same setting and let's see how it looks and let's click on ok a uh, new layer and go to edit go to fill and let's fill it with 50% gray and let's change the blending mode to soft light and let's do some dust and burn so let's add some dust does right around here and maybe some in the face and maybe right around here and let's change the exposure a little down Just, just like so and then let's add some burn yep just like so let's see before and after and let's add some other elements so, so let's see let's drag and drop this right over here let's change the blending mode to screen control t and let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it just like so uh, and then and then let's drag and drop this uh, png right over here Let's keep it under this layer control T let's make it a really small and let's keep it maybe right around here let's create a new layer and go to brush and let's go with a cloud brush so let's see uh, let's go with this one let's add one right around here and let's maybe let's add one right around here too and let's go for another cloud let's see let's go for this one and let's create a one more layer and add a brush let's keep it like that and let's add one more layer and let's go for another cloud brush let's see let's go for this one and let's go to the very bottom and maybe let's one add one right around here so let's keep it like that and let's go on the bottom create a new layer go to brush and let's go with the general soft brush and let's add a shadow so let's go for the black color add a shadow control T now let's keep it just like so and again let's create a new layer and with the same color select it let's add some kind of darkening on the bottom and let's drop down the opacity maybe just just like that 
and now let's add some text so let's go over here add some text color to pure white and maybe let's uh, change the text placement just like that and let's make a one more copy control J control T and let's keep one right over here and let's go over here let's drag and drop this logo right over here control T let's make it a little smaller and let's add a one more text and let's go over here create a new layer go to brush and let's go with a particle brush again yep, let's go with this one let's make it a little bit smaller and let's see let's go for a white color just like that and maybe let's add a particle right around here and maybe let's add a little rotation and let's go for another brush let's see let's go for this one let's create a new layer and let's make it a little smaller again uh, let's add some rotation here maybe some more Yep, just like so. And yep, that's the final. And I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial. And see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.